Hello and welcome guys to the game Old Salt, a 2-4 to four player naval tactics game based on the high seas. Choose one of the six different factions, gather your masts and ships, as well as of course your locations on the board, and begin the game. Each player is going to acquire their own faction and gold, which they'll utilize to shoot other players down and take their locations. Your objective? Be the last ship standing on the high seas, be the player who has the most locations at the end of the game, or be the player who has acquired enough uh, fa factional locations in order to win. On your turn, you will choose three ships, move them across the sea, shooting and capturing ships, as well as, of course, capturing the locations, and gathering masks to either turn in or conquer adjacent territories. Will you gather enough territories or defeat enough ships to win this high seas battling tactical game, or will you be sunk to the bottom of Davy Jones? Find out in my review where we discuss the game down below. I show you what it includes, as well as how to play, and then of course my review. All right guys, let's go ahead and take a look. Welcome to the game Old Salt. And as you can see, I've currently set the game up for two players. And there is an explanation as to how you set the game up in the rules here, with a basic starting board illustrated just like this. As you can see, there are different types of ships here in the game. And what you're going to be getting in the game, of course, is the rule book, the main board of the game. These are water tiles, which can block islands that you're not utilizing in a game. You can have trade wind tokens. You'll have masts and different types of ships. And then you're also going to have these guys here which are your banners is signifying that you own the islands represented on the location you're also going to be getting boards or player boards faction boards that you'll be utilizing that have unique abilities on them some basic flavor text they explain the character name the abilities and of course over here in the corner is going to be the faction icon as you can see this is a little hatchet and these guys have little hatchets on them these purple ones here um, you're also going to be getting little standees which you can utilize for your specific banners you'll be getting currency or gold and based on your starting uh, player lineup you'll have a certain number of gold for each player and for instance a two-player game you have the first player with two gold and the second player with three uh, you're also going to have additional boat tokens these are going to be utilized in the game as you purchase them you'll be taking the specific boat that you require you'll also be going ahead and taking your masks from a bag that you're going to have the bag is going to include any additional uh, banners and masts that you may uh, or banners or uh, tokens i should say that you may need uh, as well as the different um uh, what do you call them, these guys here uh, that you're going to be basically uh, taking these and placing them on so you'll have new boats based on the location that you place them on. These are damage tokens. They're white for one damage and then they're going to be black for three damage and after your ship takes a certain number of damage well that ship is removed from the board. These are the extra baggies and extra classes that you'll need if you play a larger game or want to switch up what you're currently playing. To begin the game set up the board based on the rule book place the tokens in six appropriate spaces with each player having three of them and placing them down on islands. Any islands left over will be neutral faction areas. Place the boats next to the locations that you own. Take the trade winds, discard one of them randomly, organize them in a stack randomly, and then take the top one and place it out on the second round uh, when you're going to be changing the trade winds. These guys are going to be basically placed in certain locations, whether it be blue, green, or red, to indicate if your ships get to move one extra space faster. Then start with the first player, and the first player is going to uh, collect income, and then the second player will also collect income. You're always going to get three gold at the beginning of the turn, um, unless you have more than three locations. If that's the case, then you'll get plus you get one gold for each location. Five locations, five gold. Less than three locations, three gold. You can also turn in masks. Uh, masks. Masks are enemy ship masks. Basically, when you defeat a ship, if you have them to turn in, you can turn in one for a gold, two for three, or three for five gold. Then turns will begin. Start with the first player and allow that player to choose three ships to move. They'll be able to sail basically, moving three spaces. In this case, we got the shield here and they can move three ships, three spaces. On their turn, they can move, they can fire, uh, they can seize an island. And uh, they're, they're basically going to try and accomplish these goals here, as well as, of course, use actions if they're able to. Uh, whenever they you have a character, you have a player that chooses uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, three different ships to move, just like this. Uh, then, of course, remember there's the different uh, actions. And uh, firing is pretty simple. Basically how it works is you select an enemy ship, you select your ship, as long as it's five or less spaces, you roll the die. If you hit that number, one, two, which is the case, um, or greater, you're gonna hit the ship. 
and you'll do a certain number of damage to it. Additionally, two certain ships will have different abilities. For instance, one ship will let you get a free attack. Generally speaking, it's going to cost you one coin to attack. And also some unique rules, too. If you're ever hitting uh, the side of the ship, they're going to uh, basically be, if they hit the broadside, and you're also, if they're swinging at your broadside as well, then uh, they get a counterattack. Um, if you're hitting their bow or stern, they'll get a plus one to, to defense. So if it was a uh, two, but you're going for the front or the back of their ship, and you can tell by the ship uh, based on the little symbol there, whether it's the front or the back, uh, you have to increase that to a three in order for it to actually hit the ship and do the damage needed for success. To take over a location, so for instance, if these two ships were not there, and this location, and this guy was here to take the location over, you would need to have uh, the enemy ship's banner, you would need to spend a certain number of gold, and of course, you'd have to increase that based on the number of enemy ships of that faction's type two spaces away. And you're going to be able to do it. So it'll be two copper or two two coins plus one mask of that type, mask of that type plus one coin for each ship that's two spaces away. Hopefully, I said that and it makes sense to you. Um, and that's pretty much the idea of your turn, other than specific unique basic abilities, which I'll let you go on the Kickstarter and look up for yourself. But there's a ton of different abilities. Like here's one. This is Fortify. You can place Fortify tiles on locations. They cost gold. They pr they protect your location from enemy attacks. Uh, but there's a ton of them from a ton with a ton of different faction aspects. Um, and then after that, you would pass your turn. The next player would get to take their turn. They would use their ships to move around the board. Um, like for instance here, one, two, and three. They could then choose to fire. They need a two. Um, because they're hitting the side there. Oops, oh no, I dropped the little banner. Uh, they needed two, and they got the two, so they would do damage to that ship, and you would take the little tokens, and that would signify the damage on that ship. They would keep moving the other ships. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. After that, the next round would start, and you would actually take trade to uh, the trade win tokens. These guys will pop up, and you'll place them down the board uh, near the location in which the trade win occupies. Basically, whenever a ship moves through that specific location, they'll get an extra movement and they'll get to that for each of the ships when they move through on that specific round. And the trade winds will obviously change as time goes on. And at any point when a location uh, or trade wind location gets two, that will prevent the trade winds from basically taking up that, using that specific um, passive ability. So in this case, blue would no longer activate, but green and red still would till the next round in which red would no longer. And then bam, blue would activate again. Red would inactivate, and then green would uh, inactivate. Uh, and that's pretty much the idea of how it works. Uh, when the game ends is when either A, all the trade wins have triggered, and that'd be the final round, or B, if everybody else's enemy ship has been defeated, or if you're able to gather six islands and utilize your, place your banners on those islands, and you start with three. So you just need to capture three in order to win, which is much easier said than done. Uh, that's the basic idea of the game, though. Basically, move your ships, perform your actions, pass. Your opponents will do the same in clockwise order. Uh, you'll gather your income at the beginning of the round. Uh, you'll be able to spend banners to capture locations, uh, to gather more coins, use those coins to buy new ships, uh, to attack other bad guys or <laughs> other players' ships, and, of course, uh, to capture these locations as well, and uh, then place the trade wins and, and just continue just like that. A pretty straightforward tactical-style game with a ton of different character classes and unique abilities that make the game interesting and unique each and every time you play it. All right, let's come up and talk about it. Old Salt is a tactical naval game in which you'll be utilizing unique ships and locations to move around the board, defeat enemies, and conquer their locations. It's very simple as to how you play, moving, attacking, conquering, gathering masks, masks which you can either turn in or you can utilize to capture new locations, and how you win the game is kind of up to you, and there's different ways to win the game, whether it be to run the timer out, capture those locations, or defeat all enemy ships. Speaking of enemy ships, there is a large majority, a variety of different enemy ships, whether it be the basic grunts, leviathans, zealots, hazards, and marksmen, whereas something like the hazard is going to simply blow up or detonate. A leviathan has a ton of health. The zealot is able to fire for free once around and the marksman can fire at a range of five tiles and a maximum fire range of nine tiles out uh, it's just going to cost you more currency whereas the grunt has a basic uh, style of ship where it can attack based on the number of its hp and how many coins you're able to utilize when firing and uh, you're also be gathering coins throughout the game based on your locations you're always going to gather three but if you have more you'll gain more currency so always gathering more locations whether it be locations that are freely accessible on the board or whether it be one of your opponent's locations and you'll have to defeat your opponent's 
month in order to take their locations, provided you can beat them by spending the currency required based on the defending ships in the area. So there's a ton of tactical choices you need to make in the game when moving and maneuvering your ships and which ones you choose to maneuver because you'll have a large variety of ships, but you won't be able to move all of them during the gameplay. You also have to choose the faction that's right for you, whether it be the Barbarians or something like the Forgotten here or even the uh, Bootleggers. They have special abilities which you can choose to utilize in an advanced gameplay mode. These guys are going to come with certain unique abilities and potentially tokens that will upgrade uh, your offensive abilities or defensive capabilities or of course even how you move throughout the game and they all have their own unique specials uh, maybe even just how they attack and what ways they attack so they kind of play in unique and different ways uh, and so if you want to switch it up you can always switch up a different faction and of course the setup of the game there's a starting base faction but if you want you can go ahead and there's you can kind of create your own setting uh, startup section if you uh, action setup if you want as well uh, trade wins is also an interesting thing as well whenever a round ends you're basically going to start by flipping a new trade window over putting it down on the board and as long as there's just one there or I believe it's even three uh, you'll be able to enact that specific locations trade win making you get faster uh, when you get into those areas which is nice because you always want to move throughout the board to get to certain locations to kind of have a uh, proximal advantage comparatively to your opponents if you guys have ever played a game like Final Fantasy Tactics or Advance Wars this game is going to play like that it's going to have the same basic map but what's unique and interesting about the game is the type of factions the type of ships and of course the trade wins allowing you to change direction and move a little faster as you fight off your opponents uh, taking damage really easy basically when you're rolling dice depending on your range if you hit that number Bam, they take damage. There's ones and threes to correspond with the HP on the ships. And all the ships have their own detailed explanation to how much health they may or may not have and the attacks and all that. And they basically already explained that to you. Uh, the quality of the game is top notch. What's here, if you don't mind the standy aspect of the game, uh, which of course you're on the Kickstarter to see if this is uh, how close to the prototype it may or may not be. But what's here is nice and easy to use as far as moving the pieces around, gathering your masks and placing them on the unique boats, as, as well as, of course, the different factors flags that you'll be placing on the islands as you capture them, provided you're able to, because there's certain rules as to how you can capture. You have to defeat the opponent's ship first, and then you, of course, have to have the gold required, and defending ships around the area have to be defeated, or you have to pay more in order to accessibly access that location and take control of it. So you kind of have to balance that out. Losing ships can be at your disadvantage, because if you lose too many ships, it's going to be more difficult for you to win, and of course, your opponent's objective is to simply remove all ships from the board if the game doesn't end, or they capture enough locations in order for that to happen as well. Um, the art for the game is kind of like, it reminds me of like a military mapping board where you're playing kind of like where the people in the olden times like moving the pieces along with this like pusher and like designating what areas people are going to be, uh, their, their armies are going to be fighting in. And this is what that feels like. So if you'd like that type of style, uh, then you're going to enjoy this. Uh, would I have preferred it to be actually ships kind of like uh, British versus pirates? Uh, maybe. I mean, I don't know. This definitely does provide a unique experience as far as the combat goes and placement. And I do like the aspect of the idea of playing as though I am a naval commander kind of outside of the realm, making my ships go here and here and seeing the outcomes. Uh, it, it just uh, it provides something unique that I haven't seen before. So I do like that. But, you know, I'm also kind of a minis guy, too. So that, that would be kind of cool as well. Uh, and I like the trade wins. I like the fact that it changes throughout the game. The different characters are all unique. And I, I do enjoy that as well. Overall, high quality components, really cool stylization. I wouldn't mind actually seeing some unique aspects to the game board like places where you can place islands down, like extra little tiles that can kind of change the map board up uh, in different ways. And I think that'd be pretty easy just by adding extra tiles. Maybe that would be in the expansion or upgrade or something like that. That would be really cool though, uh, to make it a little different each and every time you play on the board itself. Because as far as the factions and the ships and all that go, uh, it's it's really well laid out. I really enjoyed that. Um, if you don't mind a game that's more tactics driven, I wouldn't necessarily say uh, it's, it's dry in theme. It's just more of like I was explaining how you kind of are pushing those units around and kind of focusing your combat based on your strategy as opposed to feeling like you're actually inside the battle you more so feel like you're kind of outside away looking in and commanding these troops and settings and whatnot and that's the kind of feel that I got with this game and if you like that you're going to enjoy this game on old timey style feel of the game old salt's a great title for this uh 
for this game here because you feel like uh, these are the best laid victories in, in, in boating history and you're kind of making or creating this aspect as you go along with your different characters. Overall, a solid tactical game for those of you who enjoy tactics-based games, those of you who enjoy war games. If you like games that are a little more meatier, because this is a pretty straightforward game as to how it plays, or something a little lighter, because this one does have some complexity when it comes to the characters and how you're going to be moving and maneuvering in the ships. It requires a little bit of thinking, a lot of bit of thinking, to make sure that you access the correct locations, even when you're looking just basic fighting, because hitting them off of the broad side, they might be able to counterattack you. Uh, hitting them from the front or the back is going to be more difficult and creating a higher challenge rating, but all at the same time, you're just utilizing a die. So it's kind of interesting how that works. Now, of course, there's a little bit of luck in the game, which is mainly just this die, but mitigation is high based on the, the current distance from the boats you're fighting, types of boats you're fighting. So you have a lot of control in the game. Uh, very, very light luck, but otherwise a solid tactical <laughs> ship based experience. If you're interested in the game, link down below. All right, outro. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Old Salt. If you like this game, go ahead and take a look at the rest of uh, in the description below. The link in the description where you can go ahead and pick up the game on Kickstarter. You can also go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification button so you can see more videos of games just like this one. Speaking of games just like this one, live stream every Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. PST on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube where you can watch us play games similar to this one, if not just this one itself. We pick and play many different games every Wednesday. And it's a lot of fun. Come join us. Uh, we'll have a new location shortly. I'm going to have a full video explaining how that's going to work. We're basically upgrading to a house, so we're going to have a larger studio. That's a, a lot of stuff is coming in the works. Regardless though, Moonshell Mermaid game. Uh, surveys are out, and been if you haven't gotten your survey, you need to message me. Let me know so I can resend you it, change the email, whatever it is. Uh, we've got prototypes coming in. Like I said, it's just a matter of waiting. It's all of a, a long process of having the manufacturer do the stuff for us. But overall, excited to show you guys that game and of course this game as well. Uh, Patreon members, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys supporting us all this time, helping us give away more games on our stream, and of course our website, tons of reviews and blog posts there as well. All right, guys, that's all I got for this time. And as always, I look forward to hearing the tales of the old salt with you next time, matey. <laughs>